driving goal of Six Sigma is to reduce defects. By reducing defects, teams can increase productivity, decrease overall costs, increase customer satisfaction, and create maximum profit. One idea inherent in the Six Sigma methodology is that variance is the root of many defects. For example, if an oven heats to exactly 350 degrees in 5 minutes and stays at that temperature until it is turned off, it is less likely to burn cookies. If a cook measures each ingredient exactly, he or she is more likely to turn out cookies that consistently taste good. Add variation in the process, and consistency is lost. When consistency is lost, defects are introduced. If the oven doesn't maintain an exact temperature all the time, the cookies might burn. If the cook puts in a cup of sugar instead of a cup and a half, the cookies might not be sweet enough. Variation makes for inconsistent quality. It's important to note that removing variation alone doesn't always improve quality. What if the cook set the oven to 400 degrees all the time and only used half a cup of sugar for each batch? The process has no variation, and neither do the results. The cookies will always be bland and burned. Six Sigma process improvement teams usually take a two-step approach to improvements. First, they have to determine if the process is functional. In the cookie example, does the recipe work at all? Is there even a recipe? Once the team determines there is a workable recipe, they make improvements to remove the variation that causes outputs to deviate from the result intended by the recipe. The statistical measure used by teams to understand variation in a process is known as standard deviation. Standard deviation is represented in math by the lowercase Greek letter sigma as you can see here. Standard deviation measures the distance between data points and the mean of all data. A large standard deviation means an overall wide spread of points, a smaller standard deviation means a closely clustered set of points. These images here provide a graphical representation of deviation. Imagine the vertical axis over here is a measure of time and the horizontal axis over here is a measure of temperature. The center line in each image this line and this line represents the mean temperature. You can see that the temperature over time varies much more from the mean temperature in this figure on the right.